Hi friends and welcome back to our toe up sock series. So last time we worked on our toe here and we got to the number of stitches that we need on our foot. So in this video, I am gonna show you how to work the foot and the leg of the sock. We're not gonna do the heel yet. Instead, we're gonna be putting in some waist yarn for the heel. I'm also gonna show you how to use these little light bulb stitch markers to count your stitches on both the foot and the leg so you can make sure to make matching socks. The entire foot and leg we're gonna do in stockinette stitch, which just means we're gonna knit every stitch in every round. Go ahead and get your light bulb stitch marker ready because we're going to mark the end of the toe. So I'm just gonna start by knitting and I'm gonna knit like halfway in. I've knit about halfway in on my toe and now I'm going to use that light bulb stitch marker to mark the last row of the toe. I'm doing this so that I can count everything after my marker as foot rounds. So this last stitch that I did right here, that gray one that's on the needle, I'm looking at that stitch that makes sort of a V below it. So this one right here, this V, and I'm going to thread my light bulb stitch marker through it and in just a second, I will fasten it off. Now I'm just going to continue knitting in stockinette stitch. I'm going to use a light bulb stitch marker every 10 rounds to help me keep track of how far I've knit on my foot. I've worked 10 rounds since my marker, and I know that because I'm counting each stitch all the way up to 10, the 10th one being the loop on the needle. So now as I start this next row, I'm gonna do the same thing that I did here and I'm gonna put in another light bulb stitch marker. This time I am just going to use my silver markers. My red markers are only going to mark between sections. So the entire way through the foot, every 10 rounds, I'm going to be using my silver markers. I really like to keep the marker on the same stitch. So you can see that I have knitted to the same stitch here and I am just going to add my marker in on the 10th row, which is the one down below. Now I'm just gonna continue knitting in stockinette, marking every 10 rounds until I reach my desired foot length. I will see you there. Once you've worked to your foot length, it's time to put in the waist yarn for the heel. I've chosen a color that's going to really contrast because later on, we're gonna go back and pick up stitches around this color. So it's good if you can really distinguish well between them. Leave your main color attached because we're gonna pick it right back up in just a second. But with your contrast color, go ahead and knit all the way across this first needle. We're only gonna go across the very first needle and then stop at that point. Once you've made it to the end of the needle, stop for just a second and count to make sure that you still just have half of your stitches here. So since my total stitch count is 60, I should only have 30 stitches here. We just wanna check to make sure that nothing got off along the way. Now we're actually going to work the same needle again, but we're gonna work back purling across. So go ahead and flip everything around so that now you're seeing the purl side of the sock. We're gonna work these same stitches again and just purl right back across to the beginning of the round. Once you get to the end of that purl row, we are actually all done with our waist yarn. So you can go ahead and cut it or you can just break it off but we don't need it anymore. So what we just made here is two rows of waist yarn that later on we're going to pull out. And we're not gonna do this until we get to the heel, so don't worry about it just yet. What you can do is take the tails and just kind of tuck them inside of your sock so they are out of your way. Now that we're all done with the foot and we've placed our waist yarn for the heel, we're just gonna carry on to the leg. So go ahead and just pick up your main color from where it was waiting for you and start knitting. You can make your leg as long as you want. You might wanna go for a shorter leg, like about 20 rounds, or you might go for medium length, which is about 40, or a longer leg, which is 60 plus. 
I'm gonna be doing a leg that's about 50 rounds long. And after my leg, I'll be getting into the cuff. Even though this hot pink contrast is really easy to see, I can easily tell that the gray is that first round of my leg. I'm still gonna put in my red stitch marker here. This is just gonna tell me that this part of my sock is over. And now I am moving on to the leg section. So once you've knit across this whole uh, side that had the waist turn, you're just gonna carry on like normal. So go ahead and turn around and then keep knitting on the other side of the sock in the round as you would normally. Continue knitting in stockinette until you reach your desired length. Make sure to keep marking every 10 rounds so that you can make two matching socks. Okay guys, so that's it. The leg is completely done. I just ended up with 50 rounds here, so 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50 rounds. So in the next video, we're going to work on the cuff and the stretchy bind off. So stay, stay tuned for that and I will see you soon.